Hi everyone, Mike Brown back with you with another lesson in Adobe Photoshop Elements 11 from Educator.com. We're looking at selections and in the last couple of lessons we've gone over the basic selection tools, the marquee and lasso tools, as well as the quick selection and magic wand, showed you how to use them, showed you how to add and subtract. And in the last lesson, we discussed feather and how a soft selection edge with a large feather allows you to blend gradually into areas, as well as a narrow but slightly soft edge allows you to work a beautiful transition on clean areas. And during that lesson, we dealt a little bit with showing you masks without describing them. In this lesson, we're going to deal in detail with the selection brush and what selections and masks are and what's the difference, painting a selection with and correcting it with the selection brush, and how to view and correct a selection with the selection brush. So let's get started and talk about selections and masks. Now, if you remember the selection brush tool, which is right here with the quick mask and magic wand, can either make a selection or a mask. And in the last lesson, you saw me taking existing selections and viewing them as masks. But what is a mask? Let me bring up this particular image right here of this young couple. And you'll see that what we have here, close out this box, is a series of layers, which we're going to be dealing with, but attached to each layer, notice these black and white thumbnails. They look very much like what we were doing in the last lesson. Let's go ahead and go to the Select menu and load a selection that's saved here, Alpha 1. I'll load it, and there you see the crawling ants for the sky. If I highlight the selection brush, and go to mask. It turns that into a red protected area with the rest of it, the sky, clear. And that's because I have designated the color of the protected area as red. I can change that very easily to black just by changing the color. And I can also alter the opacity. And so there you have what you saw in the last lesson when I turn a selection from a selection into a mask. It makes it the black and in this case clear representation. You actually see what is there. Now a traditional mask itself, which is what we have over in the other side. Let me uh, get them back. You see these as black and white. Different ways to view with the tool. You just get the masked area. But right here, if I take this particular one, which looks very much like the sky in white, Option or Alt, and click on the mask thumbnail, there you get the actual complete mask. Black is protected, white is the active area. If I go back, Option or Alt, click, there you have it. We can load that selection because the black and white mask is a saved selection, just happens to be attached to that specific layer. Command on a Mac, Control on a PC, and click the mask thumbnail. There you have the selection. And if I wanted to view it as a mask, all I do is go in the Selection Brush tool to Mask, and there it is again. But it leaves the selected area, active area, clear. The only difference between the two. A selection is a mask that is not attached to a layer. When you attach it to a layer, it is now a mask. All right? Very simple. So that takes care of defining selections and masks. What's the difference? Basically, they are exactly the same thing with the exception that a mask is attached to a layer. All right. 